Hello and welcome to the 56th tutorial in the C++ programming series and in this part we're going to be looking at template classes. Template classes like functions allow you to make the class more abstract. This is useful if you need several classes that perform essentially the same functionality but using different data types like integers or floats then templates are a great feature for this scenario. So let's just open up our project and see how to implement <coughs> Sorry about that. Uh, so you have to implement templates within C++. So what you want to do is to do create template class, you use the keyword template. And then you put angle brackets, you just put the keyword class. And then we just put an arbitrary value, num um, not number, um, I should say a value here, like text value, like T, like name I should say minus one blank, then you put class, then the name of your class, and I'm just going to put template class. Then in here, I was going to do public. And what we're going to do is T, I, and X. And this just basically means whatever data type that this class is declared with, T will be that, so maybe it's in an integer, so anytime we use T, it will be an integer, or if it's float, anytime we use T, it will be a float, but you'll see that a little off later on in this tutorial. So we're going to do template class, and this is just the overloaded constructor, we're going to do T first, T second, and then we can just simply implement this. To implement a function, and so you need to do template class and then T again, very similar to up here, basically the same. You can copy and paste it. And then here you do template class, and then in here you put T, which is the value from here, then do colon colon template class, and in here we just need to put T first. T second and in here we just do I equals first and X equals second and now what we can do is template class and in here we provide the data type we're going to put float we do TT that's what we're going to call it remember that company TT games 4.5 f, 4.7 f, s t d c o t t dot i, s t d and line. We got 4.5. But if we were to change this to an integer and uh, run this, we get four because even though we passed in float values, because they were set up as integers these values were truncated, hence why I was 4. And that's it really for this uh, tutorial on templates. Obviously, you can use this for functions as well, and then the functions can perhaps do essentially very similar tasks to other classes, but you can just combine them. So you could have maybe a class that performs loads of math functions on two uh, pieces of data. And perhaps it's just addition, subtracts and multiplication, maybe it's something a little more than that. But it's just generic per different class. And the only difference in differences in the classes is the data type. With templates you can get around that, just have the one class. If you need to modify it, you just modify the one class. So that's it for templates. Just bear in mind any function that is implemented outside the class and not in line needs to have the template line preceding it. This is the same for regular functions or as demonstrated constructors, basically this line here. If it was declared in line here, the function, then you wouldn't need this, but because it's not, you need it. But yeah, that's it. In the next part of this series, we're gonna be looking at class destructors. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonosystems.co.uk. The email will be in the description. You can comment on this video or just directly message us via YouTube. All the required links for source code will also be in the description. And as usual, thanks for watching, and I hope you have a nice day.